Vlogs, Pain Language, G4 TV, Freestyle 101. About to go on the booth right now and tear it down. Check it out. All the way live from Los Angeles, California, your man DJ Muggs repping the Cypress Hill Soul Assassin, Planet Asia from Fresno, California, aka Pain Language, in this mother baby, Asia. Spit that shit, homie. Yeah, yeah. Check it out, y'all. Pain Language in the stores right now. Go get it. You know what I mean? Look. Yo, medallions, the organic guy, track like magnets, dance around fire like an Indian Aztec, quick to turn your favorite MC to a has been and bust, make you throw your rap book in the trash bin and just it up, on some super spectacular cut, the nonsense, y'all niggas is butt, repetitive, step it up, you ain't all that tough, and killers don't talk, they keep something somewhere tough, this is the grassroots foundation again, I'm hot like the Jamaican sun baking your skin, my motivations are relation within, the boundaries of the real shit, the black fist breaking your chin, once again from the nation of sin, medallions the mic monster, I'm never known to fake and pretend, lip sync and let the track run with vocals in back of me, I said it on your whole faculty with tenacity, revolution Revolutionary ain't nobody relaxing me at all from leaving bodies in the alley like Cassidy. Truth have been the boot, but still been on Rhapsody. Fresh like the bark from the backwood factory. The style laid back, cause the pimp and the Mac and me. And that's the way it is, that's the way it's gonna have to be. Drug traffic in these rap lines, my mastery. And ain't nobody strong enough to bitch press after me. It's only one makeable breaks, it's unbreakable melodies, unmakeable patterns, unescapable. Pain language in the place to be. DJ Muggs, Planet Asia, Wheelie, Race, some seeds. Check it out. Man, we ain't done yet. We ain't done. Yo, spit that next shit, homie. Come on. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was about. What the hell? Yeah. Yo, illegitimate kid, my background Born from my mother with a nervous breakdown Last key kid, sprouted from granny's crib Used to light mics in the night With a crew of Nubians at every local gig Gang fights breaking out, bodies getting taken out Park jams, little niggas up in the mix Every hood got a henchman Somebody's on detention, doing the bed Nine out of ten, somebody done snitch I'm from the 93706 Home of Deshaun Stevenson, Fred Know what young niggas is rich Ill when the fits, known killers who shall remain anonymous And that's common since you rappers is dry Snitching. One rhyme can take days. Starting from a blank page. The only way it's forward is a straight maze. Make way for this grade eight vessel. My rhymes rip the rappers like a trade eight special. Fire. That's right, homie. That's how we do a pain language. Planet Asia, DJ Muggs, Soul Assassins all day, every day. Representing Los Angeles, California. Ask somebody. It's getting hot in here. Pain language, go pick it up. It's in stores right now. DJ Muggs, the best producer on earth. Planet Asia, the illest lyrics is in the world. 101 G4 freestyle. The reason why we're here together because we've been talking about working on pain language for like two years almost. And we finally got together at the beginning of this year and just banged it out. Uh, what, what makes Asian MC I want to work with is the fact that um, I like his energy. You know what I mean? I like his rawness as a lyricist. The kind of music he's like, where he is, is, is kind of what the same music I'm into, you know what I mean? I'm from Fresno. It's no industry out there, you know what I mean? But to make it in this in music business, you have to either go to New York or L.A. Bottom line. I'm, I'm from New York originally. I moved to L.A. when I was 14. You know, freestyles, there's some cats that could freestyle, and it's cool. But um, when we was coming up, it was more of a written rhyme. You know, it was more of a rhyme you kick just at the time that you had written off top of the head was another rhyme you kind of made up as you went along the thing changed as it kind of went along but 95 percent of freestyle is boring it makes no sense and it's, i don't like watching it it doesn't interest me but there's a few cats that would take it to another level you know like when i would see um craig g or an eminem or you know um super, Nat. super Nat. you know like cats like that really Will, will intrigue you and draw you in and, and entertain you with it. The other cats are just rambling off with the mouth and it really isn't something that interests me. So you really got to, it's really a whole nother skill you have to hone in. If you're going to be a freestyle, I think you need to practice it and practice it and, and develop it and be able to train your mind to be able to tap it and be able to be fast and be able to pick up, pick up things. Is made for being able to write better raps. That's what we used to freestyle for, to improve just being able to rhyme so you can write. You're supposed to get to a point eventually to learn how to write. Freestyling is easier than writing a rhyme. Everybody try to make it seem like freestyling is harder than writing a rhyme. No, it's easier to freestyle than to actually put something that means something together. If it sounds good, nine times out of ten, it's written. You know, it's a few, you know. Black Dog is one of the dudes I know that can freestyle where it sounds like he wrote it. You know what I mean? It's only a few cats that can really do I'm one of them. I don't do it all the time because it's a waste of time, but when, once you start making 
albums and you start recording songs, you don't really have no time to be just rapping off the top of the head, man. I, I leave that for the teenagers. I, I even feel like that's more of a teenager thing. I don't think a grown ass man should be running around here rambling off the top of the head. That's more yeah. for high school when you're beating on the table yeah. and you can't afford equipment. You know what I mean? Where, where you're honing your skills, you're yeah. developing, you're learning, you know what I mean? You're still, you're still getting your, your feet wet and everything. If I was in high school right now and I know I can, you know, get my talent visually heard and seen, you know, I would be battling cats on, on camera and trying to get my name out there too. You know what I mean? Because a lot of dudes, they don't even know the first steps to even get into the studio. So now you got the, the, the web, you know, the internet, and you can get online, battle somebody, make a name for yourself. Somebody might see you. We didn't have no net growing up. You know, all the talent. I did talent shows my whole life growing up. None of that was on film. None of that made no uh, YouTube. It wasn't no YouTube back in the day. You know what I'm saying? I did a show with them when I was like 15, 14, but I don't think it's no footage of that going around. You know what I mean? So back in the days, a lot of brothers, everybody couldn't rap. Certain people could rap and only certain people were good. Now it seems like everybody can rap. And a lot of people are good, but only certain fools are actually take from being good to actually are great. You know what I mean? And I don't care if anybody can rap anymore. If people want to rap to me, I'm like, I don't, let me hear you on tape. Because freestyling is one thing, but can your voice reflect off a of tape? How does it sound resonating back off the tape? You know what I mean? How could you, how could, how could you write? How could you write? A, it's like writing a story and writing a book to draw my interest and keep me intrigued in what you're saying line for line and, you know, bring me in as a listener and, and have me fantasizing about what you're saying. Like when I read a good book and you know, I go into my own world and, and, and can you bring that out of me? So I look, I look more for that now as, as when I listen to music, you know, a good songwriter, somebody to be able to express it and, and for my imagination to open up and actually see that thing visually.